Louisiana Beer Reviews Shock Top Honey Bourbon Cask Wheat. Introduced in 2014. This is now in their regular rotation, available all the time. It's not a seasonal. Uh, this particular beer was born on the 297th day excuse me, of 2014. It's a wheat, sort of like a wheat ale brewed with honey and spices. And they talk about all the spices on the uh, website, but they, they use lemon peel, orange peel, lime peel. They age it on bourbon cask staves. They have natural flavor. On the website, they say they have artificial flavors. Uh, 5.5% alcohol. <clears throat> now, you see on the bottle, it doesn't say artificial flavoring, but on that Anheuser Busch website called Tap Into Your Beer, it says artificial flavoring. That's the site you want to go to that'll give you the complete rundown. It'll give you the complete rundown of the ingredients in this beer. Uh, water, barley malt, um, they said malt extract, hops, hops extract, yeast, the um, honey. And I, I'm always looking at uh, tap into your beer. Plus, you can keep track of what beers have been dropped. Like, they'll list them. And then if you don't see the beer listed anymore, it's, it's out of production. Like, they used to have the Bass IPA and the Bass Stout. They're not showing those anymore. That must have been killed off. Now, when I was going to sit out in the yard, but it's like 47 degrees, and you might even hear it's starting to rain again. Look at that vapor. When Shock Top first came out in 19, in 2006, it was just Shock Top. Belgian style wheat ale. And it was Michelob Shock Top. Then they expanded it into its own line, and now it's the Shock Top line, and they say um, Shock Top Brewing Company. Uh -huh, and they'll say Michelob Brewing Company in St. Louis but it's Anheuser-Busch Inbev. You can see they even use the modern style Michelob bottle, the same exact bottle as Michelob. So this beer used to be on the Michelob website. Then they moved it over to the Anheuser-Busch website. Now Anheuser-Busch has different websites. They have the Tap Into Your Beer. They have the Anheuser-Busch website, which also features the beers. And then they have the Anheuser-Busch InBev website, which features many beers, but not all of them. Although they'll have a lot of links to different beers. Some beers have their own web page, like Shock Top does, have its own website with a locator. Tell you which places sell it and which ones they sell in which places. And also, you know, they'll have a Bush website, which I think has a locator also. Okay. <clears throat> Thick. Just clean these glasses. All right. Um, thick cream colored head. It's spongy and it, it's crackling. It's damp out here. And Louisiana cold is miserable because of the dampness. It's a hazy orange appearance. This aroma is unique. Now, Beer Advocate saying it's awful. The bros say it's awful. Rape Beer's giving it a terrible rating. Um, it doesn't look awful and it doesn't smell awful. It smells strange like a wa uh, spiced wax candle. You know, these spice candles that you can get at these stores like Cost Plus World Market. It kind of reminds me of Pumpkin Head, Shipyard Pumpkin Head. No, it doesn't smell like pumpkin, but it has that spice candle thing. <clears throat> and the honey, right, is coming from honeycomb. There's beeswax. It has a beeswax smell. I don't know if they're using beeswax or if it's, I don't know, it's really weird. Artificial flavorings. It's, it's a strange, it doesn't smell like beer really. There's a beer base to it maybe in the aroma, but for people that don't like the taste of beer, this could appeal to them. For people that do not like spiced and flavored beers like myself, is it is not generally going to appeal to us. In the nose, when you take a deep inhalation, you can get, pick up the spices in the back. 
or in the sinuses. It's uh, unusual. The flavor is the same. It's got that beeswax, that honey, almost like clover honey. Um, the wheat bread, maybe a little bit of the orange, lemon, and lime peel. The bitterness is very low. The mouthfeel is medium to heavy. The finish is wet and spicy. I don't mean heat spice, just, you know, coriander type thing. And the candle, you get that spice candle. In some ways, well, I like the fact that they're upfront. You know, you get on the website, they're saying they use artificial flavor. Sometimes I would drink these wheat beers. I'm talking about ones that are not adulterated with flavoring. Well, artificial, but they'll have coriander, you know, and um, those type of things. Sometimes they don't. They just have the yeast that gives it that, that banana aspect, coriander aspect. But, um,. They oftentimes have a tap water thing going, which it doesn't appeal to me. I'm not really in love with that banana and, and bubble gum thing that you get from the yeast. This is not turning me off like those. Um, I have a feeling most of the video reviews I'm going to watch, and it's only like, what is it, 12 of them? Some, something like that. They're not going to be positive. Ethan. Didn't like it. He gave it an F. <laughs> I don't know what Darren Malloy is going to say. I'm just about to go click it back on. Um, I see some tiny bubble streams now. This is a real one. This is a real hard one to pin down. My daughter may or may not like it. It's you do have to try it yourself. <clears throat> How do I give it a fair score? Well, I would definitely recommend trying it just because of the oddity of it. It is unique. I would say for a spice beer, it might be in the B plus, A minus range. For beer overall, mm, it's so difficult. You almost really can't give it a score, but uh, I'll say it's good. I mean, it seems like something they took a little time with. When I started drinking beer 19 years ago, almost 19 years ago, next month, be 19 years. I never thought I would taste something like this, that they would make a beer such as this, so I never was actually hoping they would make a beer such as this even, but um, you know, it's, it exists. It probably won't be around too long, but it's something to look at. So it's good. Laissez les bon temps relay, a good and unusual thing. I'm not going to get to walk again today. So, and y'all come on down to Baton Rouge and go to a Southern University Jaguars basketball game. <laughs>